Hi everyone, I'm Aura Ogurian with ACAP Advisors and Accountants and welcome to another edition of the ACAP Recap where we go behind the blog and answer some of the frequently asked questions we get from you. And today we're going to talk about what is a fiduciary advisor. We're also going to discuss how you know if your financial advisor is a fiduciary and how a fiduciary financial advisor gets paid and most importantly, how to find a fiduciary financial advisor. But before we begin, please remember to subscribe, like, and share our videos. And if there's something that you want to see, please remember to comment below or send us a message. So what is a fiduciary financial advisor? A fiduciary financial advisor is someone who is independent and always puts your interests ahead of their own. According to Webster's Dictionary, a fiduciary is someone who is held or founded on trust or confidence. A fiduciary financial advisor is held to a fiduciary duty. What that means is they have a duty of care, loyalty, good faith, confidence, prudence, and disclosure. All of these combined means that a fiduciary financial advisor will work hard to put your interests first and ahead of their own. It also means that they will avoid any conflicts of interest. So this brings up the question, should your financial advisor be a fiduciary? And the answer is a resounding yes. How do you know if your financial advisor is a fiduciary financial advisor? Simply ask them. Ask them to sign a fiduciary oath and if you need a copy of a fiduciary oath, please look below and you can get a sample of one. But ask them to sign the fiduciary oath so that way you know they're always working for your best interest. Another example of a fiduciary financial advisor is someone who is independent. They may either have their own firm or they work for a firm that's not connected with any bank or an insurance company. That way you know they're truly working independently and in your best interest. Another way you can tell if a financial advisor is a fiduciary is if they are fee-only. Fee-only financial advisors are fiduciary by nature, and if you want to search for a fee-only financial advisor or a fiduciary, you can do so by going on the SEC website, the Securities and Exchange Commission website. The link is below, and you can search for an advisor. Through that search, you can find out a lot about that particular advisor. You can find out how their compensation structure is, what their affiliations are, but most importantly, you can find out if there have been any complaints filed against that advisor, so that way you can be aware ahead of time. So how does a fiduciary financial advisor get paid? Well, first off, if you're looking for any kind of professional, whether it's a financial advisor or anyone else, you wanna make sure that that person is unbiased and independent and always working for your best interest. If they're getting paid by you and someone else, obviously their advice is gonna be tainted in some way. So with that being said, there are three types of ways that financial advisors get paid. There's one where it's a commission-based model. In that situation, someone would be selling you a product and they're gonna get some sort of commission based on that. A common uh, feature is, for example, insurance, life insurance, annuities. Those types of advisors usually are paid by the insurance company. So there's an inherent conflict of interest within that uh, compensation structure. The other way that a financial advisor can get paid is through a combination of fees and a commission. So following with the same example, let's assume someone's selling life insurance and they get commissions from that life insurance or annuity, and you are the one that's paying them as well, then they're getting compensated by both ends and they may not be as fully independent and unbiased as you want them to be. Now, the gold standard of compensation is the fee-only model. In the fee-only model, you are the only one that pays the advisor, no one else. That way you know that that advisor is working for your best interest and your best interest only. They're not tainted or biased by any compensation uh, schedule or any payout schedule by some uh, insurance or product. They're always working for your needs and making sure that your needs are met. The cost of a financial advisor typically starts at 1% of AUM, also known as assets under management. That's essentially how much the advisor is managing on your behalf. Now, some advisors also, some fiduciary advisors also do uh, one-off uh, assignments. So for example, they'll do 
a one-time financial plan or they'll do an investment review or an insurance review. In those situations, it's a finite project. You'll pay them a flat fee and they'll do that project based on whatever scope or engagement that you have with them. But traditionally, financial advisors are paid based on, at least fee-only financial advisors are paid based on a percentage of assets that they manage for your behalf. So we talked about what is a fiduciary financial advisor. We also talked about how do I know if my financial advisor is a fiduciary. And we also talked about how does a fiduciary advisor get paid. Now we're gonna talk about how do you find a financial advisor that's a fiduciary, because that's the most important part, right? So first step is to ask your friends and your relatives, because most likely they're working with someone and if they like them, you wanna get a good referral. That's probably the best way to get someone that you know and you trust. Now, after you've got that person, or maybe you don't have a referral from a friend or a relative, but the second step in that process should be making sure that that person is fee only and that they are a fiduciary. Make sure it's very important that they are not fee based because fee based goes back to the comment we made earlier that that person can be paid by you and they could be compensated by the investment product or insurance product that they're selling you. Uh, most Next, make sure that the financial advisor signs a fiduciary oath. And if you need a copy of a fiduciary oath, you can find one in the link below or you can contact us and we can send you one. And then lastly, do your research. Uh, you can either search them online to see if they've got good reviews. You can look on the SEC website that we mentioned earlier. You can read some of their postings and their articles to see if their investment philosophy and their investment strategy is in line with what you're looking for. But all of these things combined will help you make a better informed decision on whether or not the financial advisor is right for you and that that financial advisor is fee only and fiduciary that's always gonna work in your best interest. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the ACAP Recap, where we went behind the blog and answered some of your most pressing questions. And today we covered what is a fiduciary financial advisor, how you can find a fiduciary financial advisor, and how a fiduciary financial advisor is paid. If there's a topic that we haven't covered or something that you want to hear about, please let us know in the comments below or email us. In the meantime, please subscribe, like, and share our videos among your friends. Thank you.